Hello, Sight here. Um, we don't have much daylight, so I decided to go ahead and sit by the, the Christmas tree. Um, I'm going to do uh, the BJD Addicts prompts. This is the second prompt, and it's this one is uh, funny stories. Um, I had to try hard <laughs> to think of non-penis related stories um but maybe I'll, i will sh i've shared some of those before in some of my other videos and we all i'll share some more um but um i think uh the other funny thing maybe i could make a clip away but is um is the dogs reacting to uh a new or different doll um they're they're all they're, lola's snoring back there olive's down here rooting around for her toy. I mean, there's dog noises all around here. So that's what that is. Um, but, uh, uh, it happened, uh, Toby, this is Toby right here. Uh, it happened. Uh, I had a doll sitting, um, on a crate in my, in my office or my hobby room. Um, it was sitting there bald for days. I was waiting for its wig to come in and he was used to it sitting there, um, didn't care, and uh, the wig came. Uh, and I opened I opened the box up, got the wig out, uh, run upstairs, Toby right on my heels, and I plopped that wig on, and and Toby was all was all of a sudden like uh uh he was growling and barking at the doll. Um, it it turned into something scary immediately when it had that wig on. So um, the other the other uh, the other thing that that happened similar to that was um, Lola, uh, who is if you can see her back there, she's there she is. <laughs> she's back there uh, sleeping in the dog bed, snoring. Um, but uh, she's she's a newcomer to our household, and. Um, uh, she, let's move this over so we can, oh, you can't really see her. She's a newcomer to the household and I just, uh, she'd been, we'd had her for a couple of days, um, a few days and, uh, um, I, my, I usually a lot of times keep my hobby room door closed. Uh, um, there's oftentimes there's messes in there and, and I just don't let the dogs just go in there whenever they want usually. So, um. I had a day off and it was the first time I opened up the door and Lola came in with me and she came in, she was fine. Uh, and then she kind of turned and I had Sir Nunos, I think he was sitting, oh, he was, he was sitting on my desk. Yeah. So there he was right there sitting on my desk and I actually have some, I actually was filming when this happened, which was hilarious. And she stopped, she stopped in her tracks and started growling and barking at Sir Nunos, my Granado Titan. Um, so those are those are two funny stories there, um, but the penis stories. <laughs> I think I already shared I already shared the story about how my husband, for the first time after over a year of having dolls, discovered that my male dolls had had penises. Like it was a stunning discovery for him, even though they'd been naked and sitting there for a year. Uh, but uh, that that's in another video. Um, other funny penis stories <laughs> like everyone's got funny doll penis stories right i mean come on some of these dolls have articulated penises um and that was the case uh my friend uh miss uh miss mantis bjd she had uh she had gotten her doll chateau dolores body in and uh articulated penis <laughs> and uh he got he got taken apart basically for uh, for sealing and and for painting, and I got all these all these snaps so Snapchat um, of of dolls wearing uh, wearing their, that penis around their neck <laughs> because it is the doll chateau. Here I am with my fingers like <laughs> uh, it's 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 just on a string uh, like a necklace and that's it's strong it's strong it has its own string <laughs> the penis has its own string on the doll chateau uh, so um, I I got to see a bunch of dolls wearing a doll penis uh, 
necklace. And I'm still waiting for my, I'm still waiting for my, for my doll penis necklace. I want one too for myself. <laughs> but those are my funny stories. Um, so that one wasn't too long. Uh, I can't really think of any other funny stories. Uh, yeah, all I could think about were like the, the penis stories and then the dog stories. <laughs> Um, so thanks for watching as usual. I hope other people do these prompts. I know that they're old and, uh, but I know that there's a lot of, also a lot of newcomers to the community who haven't done them. Um, and there's a lot of them and, and they're, they're pretty good little points for discussion. So, all right. Thanks for watching.